Welcome to my solution of the linked list practice quiz. So let me restart the timer. So I got 20 minutes to implement the following method for the linked list class. I need to implement the add method at a given index with a given item. So let's start with the linked list class. A linked implementation of the list interface. Author Cam Moore. So we say public class linked list. It's a generic class. It implements the list interface. Okay, so inside the linked list, we have a private linked node head. That is the beginning of the list. It's actually the uh, linked node. So let's, I'll show you what the linked node class looks like. It's a private class internal to the linked list. It's not visible to the outside world. The outside world does not know about this. Link node. It has basically two things. A private E data that holds the items in the linked list and a private linked node next. So it has a pointer to the next item. So imagine, if you will, a bunch of things that have pointers to the next one. All right, so here's my linked list of four items. So head will point to this guy, this first one. So head points to there, and then you move along the first item is that one, head points to first, the second item is, is next, next, and then when you get to the end, the next pointer will be null. So in order to improve, improve the efficiency, we also want to private int size. If I could type. So this keeps track of how many nodes are in our chain. So instead, if we didn't keep track of the size, we would have to traverse the train every time when someone asked how big it is, which would be a big O of N operation when, if we just remember the size, it's a big O of one, much more efficient implementation. Okay, so now let's start implementing our method. So it adds item at the given index, right? We're going to add the item to at the given index, and we have index the place to add the item at param item, the item to add, and the return value is the item added to the list. So public E add int index E item. Okay, so first thing I like to do is check my parameters. So the only real one that I have to worry about is whether the index is valid or not. So if index is less than zero, someone's trying to add it to before, not at zero, you're trying to add it in negative, that's not legal. Or index is greater than size, I'm trying to add beyond the end of the list. You can't do that. So we want to throw new index out of bounds exception. So we're saying that the index that you gave me is not a valid index. Okay, so now 
we want to add we want to add a new node to our list of nodes or our links of nodes so we might as well construct our node that holds the item so we can say linked node um, new node this is the new one may or may not need the generic type in here. Okay, so then we want to say new node.data equals item. So that will assign the item, so now the link node, new node, will hold the item in our list. Okay, so there are two cases, two possible cases for inserting. One is if index equals zero. So we want to stick our new thing at the beginning of the list. So so we want to say so that how will we do that? So we're pointing we're right here. We and head points there so we want to say we want to point our new node dot next equals head. So our new node will now be the new beginning. So now we say head equals new node. So we changed where the head points to. The head now points to this new node, and we have the new node actually points to where head used to be, so we've just stuck that new node at the beginning of the list. And we can say size. We need to increment the size because we added something else. Um, something to the list so the size is increased by one else so if we're not adding it to the beginning we're adding it somewhere in the middle so we need to traverse or move down the list to find out where we want to do the insertion so in order to do that moving or traversing we need to have a link node temp equals head so this is just a pointer that we're going to move along the list until the right place. So for int i equals 1, and I'm going to start with 1 because I want to point to the one before where I'm doing the insertion. i is less than index i plus plus. So I'm going to move temp by saying temp equals temp dot next. So if temp is pointing to here, we'll move it to here by saying temp equals temp dot next, which will move it there. Now, if I want to insert my thing in the first position, or let's say the second position, if I want to insert it here, I need to be pointing to here. So if i is 2, or the index is 2, I want to move one time. So then I can say temp.next equals new node. Right? I can do the same thing similar to here. So I'm in the right place. So I want to say new node.next equals temp.next. Okay, and then now I want to change, so I just did the y part. I just said new node.next equals temp.next, which is now there. Now I've got to fix this pointer. So temp.next equals new node. And again, size plus plus because I have added the new node. So again, it's the first thing is you set the next pointer, then you redo the temp.next. So we set the new nodes next to be where the temp's next is, which sort of inserts it, and then we update temp next to actually point to the new nodes. We dropped it in between. And we increment the size, 
we could move the size plus plus to outside the if else, but we don't need to. And we are now done. So now what is the big O, big O for the add int index E item is, well, that's one, no looping, creating the thing, no looping. If we were at the beginning, that's big O of one because we just moved something. So the only thing is we may have to move down the linked list. So it's going to be the for loop, which can be O, big O of N. In the worst case, we have to, we're inserting at the end. And we have to traverse all the way down to the end to insert. So there you go. There is our add at index item E, or item. We first check the index to make sure it's valid. We create a new link node, and then we do the insertion. If we insert at the beginning, we got to update head after we do it. Else, we have to traverse down the list to find the right place. And then we set temp next to the right place. And then we update temp next to point to the new node. And we increment the size. Thank you very much.